हेलो माय डियर पार्टिसिपेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर कुलदीप फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फार्मेसी गवर्नमेंट पॉलिटेक्निक जलगांव इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अमेजिंग प्रेजेंटेशंस यूजिंग एनिमेशंस आफ्टर गोइंग थ्रू दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल यू विल बी एबल टू यूज अ स्मार्ट आर्ट टूल प्रेजेंट इनसाइड द पावर पॉइंट टू कन्वर्ट योर टेक्स्ट इनटू अट्रैक्टिव डिजाइंस यू कैन एबल टू क्रिएट एनिमेशंस फॉर योर कंटेंट एंड mention the effects of animations on to the students here is a smart art tool smart art tool is present in a format ribbon and we have to use this smart art tool to convert our text into beautiful designs let me see to you what actually i mean here i have taken a one example that is types of the receptors as all of you knows that there are four different types of the receptors type 1 type 2 type 3 type 4 and some brief information about each receptor is given here so it is mandatory to put the information one tap forward below the type 1 receptor so that it is easy for powerpoint to convert a text into beautiful designs let's see this if we select this text and click on a convert to smart art so i am going on one of the smart art vertical bullet list so automatically the text is get converted into the smart art so i am moving my cursor as on another smart art again the text is converted into a smart art so select which is the best suited for your content and click it i think this one is the best suited for my content so i am selecting this nice one so you can able to change the colors of this smart art so i am changing the color this one looks good again you can able to add the 3d effects from this smart art styles i am adding this one so this looks good very nice now we have to give the animation to this so go into the animation add the animation as wipe select the effect that is from the left and again go and select it as one by one open the animation plane and you can observe that each design is get animated but we don't want this so select the second one and click it on previous so i am doing this so all the animations had done let's see the preview so it's nice the type is get come and the brief introduction about that time is also get come now we have to add one more animation to talk about only first type in this session suppose that so again select that first and don't go into the basic animation you have to go into the add animation so choose add animation and select the animation type from the emphasis so i am selecting here grow shrink so as the preview is given all the smart art is get animated so we don't want that so select them from the animation plane and delete them i am pressing down the delete button so this one is happens after on the click so let me see the preview very good very good and now we are giving a more emphasis or the in this session we are talking about the type 1 receptor so it's good let's see how it looks so in this way we are able to give the animation to our smart art so in this lecture we are going to discuss about inotropic receptor the next is next is how to give the animations to the text now here i have mentioned some text that is effects of agonist on inotropic receptor let me read out it first for you inotropic receptors are embedded inside of the membrane 
दे आर लिगेंड गेटेड एंड एक्टिवेटेड बाय द लिगेंड ड्रग्स और हारमोन्स अगोनिस रिच एट साइट ऑफ एक्शन When agonist binds at the receptor binding site, the conformational changes occur in the receptor proteins that results in opening of the ion channel. The extracellular ions moves inside of the cell, causes hyperpolarization or depolarization of the cell. This in turn results into cellular effect. Now this is the mechanism how agonist activates inotropic receptors but it it is not that much catchy it is not that much attractive or memorized by the students if you gives the information in a text format and narrate it in front of the students let's see how i animated it so here the pictureization is a given that this one is the receptor and this one is the agonist these are the ions present at the extracellular site so as i click that shows the ligand binding site agonist will come and binds at the ligand binding sites the conformational changes happens inside the receptor that opens the gate and more amount of the ions from extracellular to moves into the intracellularly so movement of these ions inside the cell causes the hyperpolarization or depolarization of the cell and this results into cellular effects now the information given in such animated format are much more catchy and attractive toward the students and more important is that students memorize such a information in a very short duration because it's contains the visual aids to see this how we have to add the animations in a particular things let go for the tutorial so add animation is the option present inside the powerpoint to add the various types of the animation let we discuss it so here i have make available all the necessary parts inside this slide they are copied from the previous slide to minimize our time duration so here agonist ligand binding sites and all things are available now very first thing is that we have to show this ligand binding sites so select that ligand binding site and give the animation as wipe and wipe should be comes from the left increase the time duration up to 1 nice one now next step is agonist should comes and bind at the receptor binding site so select that agonist go into the animation plane and select the custom path then click on the agonist and take the movement toward this double click it so that the animation plane will get complete and make some minor necessary arrangement so that it is get fitted into the site good one so after showing the ligand binding site agonist will come and bind at this site next is the conformational change happens inside the receptor so we have to move it and show that the channel is get open to move the ions so select this portion of the receptor go into the animation plane and select motion path as lines by default powerpoint moves the object downward side so you have to select it and make it toward the right make sure what it what uh, length you have to move it move it the next is after the conformational changes you have to show the movement of the ions so this arrow should be open up so this open up towards the down and after this arrow these ions are get move inside the cell so again go into the animation and give the animation as motion paths straight line so increase the length of the animation now here i want to show you one important shortcut to make a copy of this so i am selecting this 
and making a copy of this by hitting control D so I don't require to give the animation to this again I am hitting control D so at the same distance the another object is get appeared inside the PowerPoint again I am hitting the control D moving it toward this again hitting control D moving it this so I have made the some five ions moving toward the inside let me select them from the animation plane oval 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 and they should happen after the previous so one by one they are happening let me decrease the duration of there up to one very good let's see after they are going inside some hyperpolarization or the depolarization it get happen give the animation as wipe from the left and last one is cellular effects let test our animation so ligand binding side agonist will come conformational change happens agonist open and ions are moving inside of the cell that causes the hyperpolarization and cellular effects so in this way you can convert the text format into the animated format narrate it like this the agonist will bind at the ligand binding site after binding of the agonist some conformational changes happens in the receptor that opens the gate as soon as the gate will open the ions from extracellular concentration moves toward the low concentration site in this way the ions moves intracellularly that results into hyperpolarization or depolarization of the cells and results into cellular effects so in this way if you narrate toward the students the memorization on the remembering capacity of the students is get increased they get remember animation or the visual effects very easily in this way you are not only saving your time as well as the students time for understanding the concept here are some points to remember animations is totally depend on your idea and the imaginations don't use random transitions that allows the slides comes from the various effects that causes the distraction toward the students don't use animations too much if you use too much animations which is not necessary that causes disinterest of the students hence only use animations when it is necessary and requires for your content if you want some more ideas regarding the animations how they are generated how they are created on particular text you have to visit to my youtube channel kuldeep bansod pharmacology till then happy learning thank you